In this JavaScript tutorial, I'll guide you in crafting your very own URL shortener using HTML and CSS. This is how it works, enter the long URL here. Click here to shorten it, and the shortened URL will appear here. To refresh it, click here. Let us quickly demonstrate how it works using this link. Copy it, and paste it here. Click on shorten URL, give it some time to load. And the shortened URL will appear here. Let's see if it will redirect us to the same link. Copy it, and paste it in a new browser. Perfect, it is the same link. When you now hit refresh, everything is refreshed. There is one additional feature, this animated icon. I will also show you how to get them for free by simply copying HTML code. So let's get started. I have already set up the project folder. Inside it, I have the HTML, CSS and JavaScript file. I will open the whole folder in VS Code. By the way, you can easily follow along by downloading the provided base files for free. The package includes an HTML file with a title and a link to the CSS, a JavaScript file, which is currently empty, and a CSS file containing styles for all HTML elements, including the body. If your project setup aligns with mine or you've already acquired the base files, let's kick things off. First, we will link the JavaScript file. Then open the project in a live server. This is what we have for now. Moving on, we will be using some icons from boxicons.com. Under Usage, scroll down to Usage as a font. And copy-paste the stylesheet link into your head. In the CSS, we need to include a font that will be used in the project. So, in a new tab, open googlefonts.com. I will be using outfit font. With the following styles, Click on Import, and copy-paste the style in CSS. Let's minimize the VS code. And the live preview, so that they are alongside each other. First, we will create a div with class wrapper. This div serves as a container for the entire content. The first thing will be the animated icon. So, open a new tab, and head over to lordigans.com. Log in if you already have an account. If not, sign up. Don't worry, it's free. In here, we will view the library, then select the icon style. Under filter, I'm going for the free icons. And search for link. Here it is. Open the icon page. I like this style. And I want the animation to be hover bounce. Stroke to bold. And the first color to white. Second color to this green. Then apply the changes. Now click on embed HTML 
and finally click on copy HTML. We will then paste this in the wrapper we just created. Perfect, here it is. I don't like its size, I will reduce its width and height to 100 pixels. Let's move on. Create a heading 1. I will call it shorten along URL. Below it, we will have an input, with type, text, ID, long URL, and a placeholder, enter URL to shorten. Create another div with class buttons. In this div, we will have a button, with ID reload btn. This button will have a refresh icon, which we will source from boxicons. Text displayed in the button is refresh. We need two buttons, so we will duplicate these button. The second one will have ID, short btn. And text displayed shorten URL. This will obviously have a different icon. After that, we'll add a label for short URL and explains it as shortened URL. Below this, there will be a box for text. We only need the ID, not the name. With three rows and no columns. Lastly, We'll add a footer to finish the design for the URL shortener. That covers the whole design part, and we'll now move on to the second step, making it look good. First things first, the wrapper. We'll give it a gradient background, like the body, but not similar. This gradient starts at an angle of 125.68 degrees, and transitions from this green, to this green color. We'll add some border radius, of 10 pixels. A padding, of 18 pixels at the top and bottom, and 25 pixels, on the left and right sides. A border, of 1.5 pixels wide, solid, and colored white providing a visible boundary for the container. I will also center the text content inside the container. And finally, set the minimum width for the container, to 400 pixels. The container will not shrink below 400 pixels in width, ensuring that the design maintains a certain size even if the content is smaller. Next, the H1. Font size, 28 pixels. Margin bottom, 20 pixels. Color, white. For the label, set the text align, left. Font size, 15 pixels. Font weight, 500. Margin of 10 pixels at the top and bottom, and no margin on the left and right. Display, block. Moving on, let's target the input, and the text area. Set its width, to 100%. Add a padding of 8 pixels inside the elements. Add a margin of 15 pixels at the bottom. Set the background, to transparent. Border, of 2 pixels, solid which is white. Border radius, 5 pixels. 
font size, 14 pixels, color of the text, to white, and a font weight, of 500. Next up, we target the input placeholder. I will change its color, to this color. For the buttons, set the display, to flex and a gap of 15 pixels. Next up, we style the individual buttons. Set the width to 100%, color to white, border to a 2 pixels solid of white color, border radius of 5 pixels, padding of 8 pixels inside the buttons. Background color, to transparent. Font weight, 600. Cursor, pointer. And lastly, a transition, to all properties over a duration of 0.4 seconds with an ease timing function. Let's add a hover effect on the buttons. Background color, to white. Text color, to black. Next, the icons also need a hover effect. Set the color to black. For the text area, I will set the resize to none, so that it's not resizable. Lastly, Let's style the footer. I will reduce the font size to 10 pixels and add a font weight of 500. Great. The design is all set and looks amazing for our URL shortener. But it's not working yet. Now, let's use JavaScript to make it actually do something. First, we will declare a constant variable short btn and assign it the value of the HTML element with the ID short btn, which is a button element on our web page. Similar to the above, we will declare a constant variable reload btn and assign it the value of the HTML element with the ID reload btn, which is also a button element. Next, we will add an event listener to the short btn button. So, when the button is clicked, the code inside here will be executed. In here, we will retrieve the value entered in an HTML input field, with the id long URL, and assigns it to the variable, long URL. Remember, we have an input field on the web page with the id long URL. Next, construct a URL for making a request to the tiny URL API to shorten the URL. It uses the encode URI component function to ensure that the value of long URL is properly encoded in the URL. Let us now get a reference to an HTML text area element with the id short url and assign it to the variable short url text area the shortened url will be displayed in the text area element next we initiate a fetch request to the url specified in api url this will make a request to the tiny URL API to shorten the URL. We then add a promise chain that processes the response from the fetch request. It converts the response to text format. Add another part of the promise chain, which takes the data from the previous step and sets the value of the text area element with id short URL to shortened URL. We will add this catch block that will be executed if there is an error during the fetch request 
or any part of the promise chain. It sets the value of the text area element to an error message. Lastly, we will add an event listener to the reload BTN button, so that when the button is clicked, it triggers a page reload. Great, with this implementation, we have integrated URL shortening functionality into our project. Let's see how it performs. I'll utilize this link as my long URL. I'll copy and paste it into the shortener, then generate a shortened URL. Excellent, we now have a condensed link. Let's verify if it matches the original. Perfect, it's identical. Let's try another example. Once again, it's a matching link. That's all for today, and if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up.